Hey, my lovelies, and welcome back to episode 19 of Growing Not So Berry Together, Rosjan. And we are here with Ruby, who slept in just a little bit after the spooky day party, where she fully decided to no longer be in multiple relationships. So she already broke off a few relationships with some people, like Rochelle, like Nathaniel, and with Monica. And as well, she fully decided that Molly would no longer be in her life. So what I'm going to do is I actually have UI cheats. So if I right click with UI cheats on the sim, I can remove the romance bar. And this will basically lock the door for all romance that she potentially can have with those uh, with the sim. So I'm going to do it with Kiana. And I'm going to actually delete the relationship with Molly. Not that like she doesn't know Molly, but like she has blocked Molly. Molly's no longer able to contact her and she has just fully banned Molly from her life. The other thing that I'm going to do is I noticed that Ruby will age up in about one and a half weeks. So not this Friday in the same game, but the next Friday. And she will still be a student, actually, while she ages up to an adult. And I feel like this does not make sense if you look realistically at it. Realistically, you should not age up into an adult while you're in university. Typically, you have a few years after you leave university before you become an adult at the age of 35. So she, if we follow the in-game thing, she would be now about 21, 22. But because the aging is on normal and I didn't pause it, she spent so much of her aging that she basically lost out a lot of her young adult life that realistically she would have. So I'm going to put it in auto age no, also for unplayed households apply the changes and she is gonna wait with aging uh, or I'm gonna wait with her continuous aging until she graduates. So after she graduates, she ha will have two more weeks before aging up. And this will also ensure that Pepper, who is now an elder, if I can show her here. So she's now an elder. This will ensure that she won't age up because or won't uh, die before we have the next heir which I am not sure on how to finish the aspiration I do have a few ideas in mind but again if you have any ideas yourself let me know in the comments down below right now she wants to become flirty and listen to backyard music and she is actually talking with Julian because she wants to know if why Judy wasn't really participating in the party? Like, she invited all of the roommates, everybody was dancing, and he was more standing in the back or in his room, not really participating. And she's just gonna, like, ask about, like, his interest and his career and just a few things, like, just starting the conversation, like, I know you were quiet. Um, I also not really see you engage in the house, except with Rochelle, and she's told me you were childhood friends. Um, she's just gonna ask him, like, huh. if he wants to engage with roommates, if he wants to um, have a relationship with his roommates, not, not per se in a romantic way, but in a friendly way. And she just wants to get to know him better, because she finds him interesting. Like, she finds him very attractive, but she also just wants to get to know him better on a friendly level. So that's what she's gonna do. And he seems very tense, which he does seem often. He either seems tense, angry, or sad. So she just wants to know a little bit more about him. And since we have... Um, today's death. Basically, today and tomorrow in our term. She's also gonna do a lot of studying, and she's gonna work on her debate skill today so i'm gonna skip a little bit more through the days and not film as much of her uni life except for really important things that happen because i 
don't want to skip through her life, but because I don't want to drag out uni too much, and otherwise I feel like we would get probably eight or six or eight episodes of uni. So she is just gonna practice some debating. Um, actually, no, she's gonna watch the news channel after this, and then we go to the Ubright comments to debate a topic and convince the sim to do something. And potentially we'll see some of her lovers and otherwise I will invite them over to break up with everybody. Alright, and we are at Darby's Den and she is actually asking Janelle one... Janessa, not Janelle. Uh, one of our lovers to just be friends. So let's remove the romance bar. And that's one more person that we are not in contact with anymore. And I think she also tried to convince uh, Janelle to... J not Janelle, Janessa. Why do I have? To, why do I keep saying Janelle? Um, she's gonna convince Janessa to clean, and if it works, we will take this off, and then we just have to debate a topic with someone. So let's see, debate a topic. Arno's cute or creepy with Nathaniel, just for fun. But we, apparently, we didn't convince her to clean, so we will have to convince somebody else. Uh, not Monica. Maybe Shane? Do we know him? No, we don't. But can we convince him anyways? Um, no. Can we convince Nathaniel? Where is Nathaniel? I think we can convince Nathaniel. Uh, folks, camera. There he is. Let's talk to him. And oh, we have one of our other uh, two. Ex uh, romantic interest here as well that we can break up with. Ruby took her final exam and now we just have to wait until the term is over and we see what her grades are. She's in the shower doing a little bit of singing to relax herself and we actually had her neighbor come in to fix our broken speaker because she offered to. We also reached level 8 of logic and we... Uh, got some packages that I sold through the bin here because this actually does give us some additional money. And we... What else did we get? Uh, working a bit on a job and we got research level... Research and debate level 8. So in terms of our skills we're doing very well. We already finished Chris, man. I know it's just something that's for a little bit extra for me. But we are in terms of logic and debate, we're both level 8, so I think we should be able to reach the uh, level 10. And apparently Nathaniel wants to be invited into his own room. So yes, invite to entertain it. I think we can play some juice bomb with a teammate. So why don't we have... Um, boys against the girls. So we're going to play with Dominique uh, against Julian and Nathaniel. And we'll see if he can be invited. Wait. Wait, invite him in first because apparently that needs to be the case. And there we go. They are now playing Juice Pong. Although I'm not sure, Nathaniel, if you should be playing if you are going to be winning. And something is happening with Ruby. I don't know what the glitch is. But she actually is glitched where she doesn't always have the light working with her. I think this may be because of tool that I moved her out of the apartment sometime and okay, now the light now the light is working, but it's not working like every single time. So I think I accidentally used tool the wrong way and it glitched her that the light doesn't f necessarily work on her so that's a bit of a bummer i'm gonna try to see if i can fix it fix it in before the next episode and she's just gonna play with the the guys and with dominique and we'll see if dominique is going to be the best teammate to give us this win against the guys because we are behind and she just needs a little bit of time to relax, unwind after all of the exam stress that she had in the morning. So I think it's also nice to do something a little bit more with her roommates. And we have the pink 
Thank you, Dominique. And we have the juice punk table anyways, so... Um, okay, Gina. But we have a juice punk table anyway, so why shouldn't we use it? And we got our final grades as well, and it's all again straight A pluses. So her GPA is again still an A plus, which means that we are gonna sign up for our third term, and we are gonna do three classes again. Although I think I should have done four classes each time. So two classes in terms of core classes, and then one elective because I actually want to check. We can do the Bay prep. Um. Equine Arts, which I think is the from Horse Ranch, which I wouldn't see her doing. Parenting, she's not going to do. Uh, Visionizing Wellness, she would do. So I think she's going to do Wellness just as an elective. And of course, we are going to stay at home and we are going to pay with household funds. So she's back in uni for her third semester. And we have two classes again on Tuesday, one in the morning, one in the Tuesday and Thursday, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and then a morning class on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay, so she is after this because she is very, very tired. She's gonna take a little bit of nap, she's gonna get some food in her, and then she will work on her, her homework. And I'll see you lovelies in the morning. It's the morning, Ruby is working on her job as a mega influencer because she has to make a rare product review which we are doing off her decorative egg. She finished all of her homework and she did reach entrepreneur skill level five. So she has actually maxed out the entrepreneur skill. So she has already maxed out two skills actually. And now we have reached the pinnacle of entrepreneur savvy, which gives Ruby a unique which gives Ruby unique hustle superpowers like being able to pass the entry requirements for appearing on Lama's Lair and earning the coveted the knowledge reward trade. So we now have a new reward trade. She has so many trades to be honest. So I'm checking where it is. No worries, call. So I found a ringy Gina's back. I think she's going to propose to me. I don't know what to do. What should I say? Yes? No? Yes? So, Ori is engaged? Oh, my little baby brother is engaged. I still need to film the... Um, the machinima for Nani's wedding. I am going to do this, but I'm also really excited that Rory is engaged, so I will move him and Gina out into their own home in, um, I forgot what the neighborhood for Eco Lifestyle is called, but I think that one fits the best. And here we have the knowledge. Sims with this great get salary boost as well as are more receptive, as well as more receptive responses when chatting to other Sims, which I do feel um, works for her. What are you gonna do? You are going to browse web. Well, I cannot have you go to class early, unfortunately. She is tired, so I think I'm going to have to take a very quick nap before class. And I actually want to check out in this episode uh, one of these paintings as well. Because this actually is a mod by Revachine. It allows you to study from home or do some things from home that you are not able to do otherwise, uh, except for being near the university, such as tutoring. So she can actually tutor and she can sit in on skill classes. She can sit in uh, visit office hours, do all of those things. So I do want to check it out. And I think since she's now in her third semester that she is going to do a little bit of tutoring to earn some additional money as I do want to keep it up as ex bills are expensive. So she's going to go to school real quick and she is a little bit late. But I do want to have her use a different way of making some money aside from her mega influence career. And so these two, that's something else that I found out. These two actually have a trade that made them change their outfits that are assigned to them. So roommates can actually have a big closet quirk 
which makes it that they will change their own outfits randomly. And I hate this, to be honest. So I'm quickly gonna check. It should be in here. Manage traits. You can actually remove traits through MCC. I'm not sure if you knew. But there will be... He has a bad reputation. Um, there will be this trait underscore roommate NPC underscore quirk underscore big closet. And this will have roommates change their outfits. So I removed it from both Rochelle and Nathaniel, so they won't have this trait anymore. And it's just something uh, that I noticed that I want you <laughs> lovelies to know as well. In case you are exploring this as well and do have MCC installed, so you can get rid of this very, very nasty quirk, because I hate this quirk, honestly. In case you also have roommates um, that you have given own, your own outfits to. And since we are a season member of the debate guild, of course we do have to be there for the debate practice, which is happening straight after class. So we are going to debate a topic and it's going to be, let's see, are swimming pools inherently deadly? And we're going to debate against Julian as usual. So let's see if she wins. Good luck, girl. And apparently she is not allowed to actually debate because pe other people keep using the debate stand so i had her practice debating for a little while and i'm just gonna wait until she has the opportunity to debate and in the meantime check if any of the sims that are around here are in her lover pool this one not i don't think there is any of the sims but since we met most of the sims here i just want to make sure that no lovers are here or at least we can break up with some of the lovers it's late she is not doing well she is low on bladder hunger energy hygiene and fun is also not looking too good she is having a hot-headed streak but she did finally get a chance to do her debate and she did dominate her opponent so after she is going to use a toilet, she's now also on her period, poor girl. So she's quickly going to use a toilet. She is going to put in some of the pads and tampons. And then she is going to take a shower, just a few, make herself feel a little bit better. And then she is allowed to head home, get some food, get some energy. And it's going to be a new day of classes in the morning. And although classes have finished, she does have to study. Oh, so the grind is continuing. But I think she is doing pretty well. She's just formulating some new information. Putting it on her presentation board. And I actually wanted to showcase this outfit that I've created for her. I gave her two new outfits with the change in her lifestyle, not being focused too much on her what romance side, but more focused on her um, work yeah. side. So this is actually a blazer. I don't know who it's from. I've also given her, I think it's by Gorilla Gorilla Gorilla. Then I've also given her some leggings, more tighter skinny jeans, which I think are by Bill Sims. And some heels. And the other outfit that I've given her is also a little bit more businessy. Still sexy because she does like to dress a little bit more sexy. But it it is um, this like blouse or I don't know how to call it in English. I've got the wording. But it's um, like this nice top with a red skirt some a panty and the same shoes that she's wearing in this outfit as well she does have her other three outfits that i really like and she has like all of these outfits although i may change this one as well and this one but there are some very cute outfits that i even haven't showcased like her winter outfit we don't see her in much which maybe with the next season and some of her party outfits which i do want to show in the upcoming episodes but she is 
changing her outfit. She's getting older and older. She also needs to focus more on her career. She keeps thinking about babies, although she's not pregnant. And she doesn't want to have kids. So I'm really wondering why she keeps thinking about babies. But for now, she is just going to focus on her high school year. High school. She's not a teenager anymore, unfortunately. About on her university years, her grinding. And apparently not the gardening job. Although Wolfgang does want us to be in there. She gets a lot of job offers, actually. But not in the political career. So for now, she is just going to focus on... What she can do, what she has to do. Break up. Like breaking up with somebody. So, yeah. I think we are gonna break up with Hinata. And we'll just leave it at that. And she does feel a personal rift because it hurt their friendship a little bit. And we are going to lead the romance bar, so no romance will be happening in the future, even though she is very, very flirty. And that's one relationship broken off. How many do we still need? One, two, three that we still need to break off, and then Julian will still see like what she wants to do. She hasn't received any pop-ups in regards to Julian, so I'm not 100% sure if there is anything she wants to do. So I'm actually filming this on three different days as I've been really tired. I also posted it on this on Twitter, but I thought I would check the family tree and actually show you guys with the pop-up from Rory that Gina has a ring in her back. I want to check if they are just engaged or if she would show up on the family tree which she didn't so i just wanted to also check like how everybody else was doing see if we could find anything related to Dwayne or to nani and then i found out nani had a daughter so i didn't realize she was pregnant but she actually gave birth to a daughter named hannah and I know that she gave birth to the daughter because Kelani is listed as her mom. But, and I'm sorry if you hear something in the background, I'm doing laundry and my washing machine is very, very loud. Um, but since it has the last name Kealo uh, Kealoa, she actually is, she was uh, born from Nani and not from Kaylani. So I'm not sure if like they have the genes from both, if it's a science baby or something. I don't know what they went for. But they actually do have... I'm sorry if, if you hear the loud noise. Like I know it's a lot of like uh, banging. I'm really sorry. But they have a baby now. So I guess we have a little niece that we need to meet then soon. And she actually wants to go on a date now. We do know that she still has to have one boyfriend and earn gold on three dates, or girlfriends. Uh, but what I wanted her to do right now, she went through her Thursday classes, she did a presentation, she's now working on her term paper for visualizing wellness. And we actually have a guild bar night in a few minutes, so I have her, she is dressed up, I made sure that she was in a nice outfit. And we are now gonna go to the the, build, the debate guild bar night with, let's see, um, we can only invite, we can invite our cat, but we cannot invite uh, a lot of people. I actually wanted to invite some of the people we could break up with, but since, let's see, can I do it from here? Yeah. Since Julian is also in the build guild, uh, debate guild, I'm going to have him join us. And we're just going to have a fun night with the debate guild and with our roommate as well. Hopefully getting to know him a bit more because their friendship is growing, but it's still, still a bit tough. So we are at the bar and I'm going to have Ruby order drinks for the whole group. I think she would be more of a wine kind of girl. So I'm going to have her order some... Let's see, wrenches for everybody and then for her own she's actually gonna order her favorite drink because I 
don't know what her favorite drink is and I want to find out. So she is going to order a few drinks and everybody is here. Nathaniel decided to join as well. And I do want to check. We don't have any place where we can practice debate stuff, which would have been nice. I do really like this bar and how cute it looks. I love the outdoor area with the place where people can uh, use their instruments and can jam around, potentially like a starting band. But right now we are just going to wait on our drinks and just talk a little bit with our roommates, with our guild members and just see... We're going to cry about the bait strategy because he's... Also a senior member, we're just going to have a little bit of fun, uh, because she, I think she would like, uh, it's an awkward account. Did they flirt? Oh, I think they may have flirted. There is definitely something going on between these two. Like, I, I want to keep it, um, I want to keep it like wholesome for now and just have them have a little bit of fun time build up a friendship and not focus on anything regarding i'm sorry my voice is cutting down a bit okay back to the talking um i don't want them to jump into a romance in case there is something like they they started flirting autonomously i never put them into a flirting mood i'm gonna click all of these people away out of the conversation uh wasn't supposed to click julian out of the conversation but I just want to see, like, if there's anything between them. I don't want to make it awkward for anybody else. Like, she wants to do a first kiss, but she also wants to humble where I can complain about the cold. So uh, there's the there's a few things going on, and there's a few things that um, could be happening between them. But I also think that she really wants some drinks with holding Ruby to two drinks. Two drinks, but she she is really focused more on her schoolwork. She's been grinding a lot this episode, and I think she she also is a bit hesitant to start anything new, even if she finds him very attractive, even if she wants to have a suggestive conversation. Okay, never mind. Throwing all the plans out of throwing all the plans into the bin. Apparently, this girl has her own opinion. So I'm just going to ask him about his day and try to build up that relationship because it's going up very fast. And if they are doing flirts, it's up to them. He, ac oh. he actually complimented her. And she says, I love looking... Okay, so he is complimenting her. She is complimenting him. Yes, it's from both sides. I'm not going to force anything until they start doing things on their own. But yeah, there's definitely... And he's thinking about a garbage ban. There's definitely something between these two. I... I'm not forcing anything again because I also want to see what the game does. But... Oh, he just want... Oh, he just wanted to put a bin up after people... He... After people put it down. That's nice. He's an, I think he's a nice sim. But yeah, there is there is something there. There has to be something there. And apparently her favorite drink is a wrench. But she's gonna drink her drink. She's gonna sit over here in a little bit of a quiet area. And she is also... I don't know where... Oh, Julian is already here already. But she is gonna play Juice Bong against him. Just as a little bit of a fun time. Like... She knows she has classes tomorrow morning um, at 8 a.m. She knows she has early classes, but she also wants to have a little bit of fun after spending so much time on her homework this week and trying to work so hard on keeping her good grades that she also wants to enjoy just a little bit, looking very, very gorgeous. I do actually love her so much she is so amazing looking so i am excited to see like how she develops also what she's gonna look like as a political sim i do have a little bit of an idea in mind i'm thinking more business chic 
um, slowly evolving her outfits as I'm already doing right now. So these kind of outfits, but then a little bit less sexy, a little bit less revealing, but still the, the style that she used to have. And are you waiting for Julian? Where is he actually? Uh, hopefully he'll come... No, Julian, did you leave? Okay, Julian left actually. Uh, can we invite him back over? Because I do have a mod called Call Sim Anytime. And even if peop even if the game thinks they should be asleep, um, this mod will actually allow you to call your sims at any time of the day, even at night, so it will make a lot of more for storytelling for example if you're a machine web creator and you want to invite sims over for a booty call you can actually do it with this mod but also just um if your sim is very sad in the night you can call over your your sims invite them to hang out and it will not be an issue even if it is 2 a.m so we are now gonna finally play choose pong against each other and let's hope she wins Mushka! Woo! <laughs> Huh? <laughs> and she is definitely not winning. She only hit one cup, whereas Julian hit two already. So she is getting... You don't see it here because I don't have any of the 18 plus mods in there. But at this point, she will be getting quite drunk. And now Julian has to drink a drink too, which is good. She's catching up a bit. But did ultimately lose, unfortunately. Oh, poor girl. So I think after this, the drinks are quite hitting her. I think it also starting to hit him a little bit. So she, she wants to kiss him. Like she wants to do a lot of things. And as I've said before a few times in other episodes, I interpreted everything that pops up in the first menu is what they want to do she wants to i don't think he should be your boyfriend but like she wants to kiss him like she wants to like do a lot of things with him and since the the alcohol is catching up to her she is gonna do a lot more things, including a little bit of a steamy kiss, which is from the More Kisses mod. I will post the links of all the mods that I've mentioned in the episode down below. It's already 4.30... It's 4.30 a.m. Oh no. But they are definitely getting in the mood. They are definitely... He kissed her... He kissed her passionately as well, and they're feeling hot and heavy, they're feeling a lot of things. Please go away so it can stay in a Morris exchange. And I know I'm, I said I wanted to let the game do their own its own thing, but right now I do feel that this is what she wants. We're not going to ask him to be our boyfriend. I think they will have a lot to talk about in the morning. But she she wants to kiss him. Like she wants oh, if I re-roll yeah. this, let's see what comes up. Spot. Backyard music. She wants to listen oh. to backyard music, but there's also a lot of things that that are going through her mind in a kind of juiced state. She is she is going to do a lot of things that she did not think about doing, that she did not want to do. And she is now... Yeah, she now has to think about what she's going to do next. What will happen between her and Julian. So probably when she wakes up in the morning, after she goes to school and try to do the best that she can... She will have to talk about Juni and what happened between the two of them. It was if it was a mistake, if it was something real, if it was just a drunken thing between them. So she is gonna head home. She is going. He's gonna join her, and I think they will have a lot to talk about and a lot to figure out if this is the way they want to go, or 
if this is just a drunken day state which is which is being pushed further with more of the feelings that were already there or if it's just something that they should never talk about again so let me know what you lovelies think let me know how you lovelies think this will go and if you like this episode with all its chaos with my brain not really being fully on top of everything click that little like button down below and let me know again what you think about her and Julian, what you think will happen between the two of them. And if you're not subscribed yet and don't want to miss out on either a wholesome or chaotic video, make sure you click that subscribe button as well. And I'll see you lovelies in the next one. I found you in a 